Hey guys, welcome to new video, Fernand Dushan here. In today's video, I got some special stuff for you, the special item. Uh, like I uh, said in some of my old, old video, the flea market is a very, very uh, decent source for a gold-plated item. So, uh, before a couple of days, I just visit one small flea market and uh, I buy a couple of items. Uh, I buy some fork and spoons, I buy some gold-plated clocks and I buy some uh, plates, uh, copper plates with gold plating, but uh, that item will be in the next video. I cross on this. I buy that in the this shape for uh, one dollar because uh, it's damaged. This, uh, this pictures, it's a uh, Indian pictures you see that probably something from India and uh, it's part of the some uh, vase but that vase is uh, destroyed uh, all that pictures is is damaged so restoration is not possible so I buy that for one dollar just for this purpose because I got some gold traces here to make this video yeah so if you see that this picture is actually in the best uh, condition so you see that only them only it's damaged here the glass is broken down there got some damage on the corners these pictures is actually painted on the glass so this part glass is a painted with the gold paint you see that this is real gold paint so some uh, it's actually the process is go they add some glue and add a small gold particles like these so uh, contain some gold paint gold traces and this is some kind of sand sand in the different colors to make some uh, very very nice art okay and uh, this stuff around it's not gold plated it's metal but it's a pure brass so this is a brass I already test that and the nitric acid is just go it just eat everything so it's just uh, brass but inside all that see that all that gold gold shape is a real gold uh, but it's not pure gold this is about uh, 14 karat uh, 18 karat gold not pure 24 karat gold and amount is not too much it's not too big but uh, in this video, I will just show you uh, the step how to remove this gold and the keep solution and that solution you can put together with some other solution to recover that gold. If you find some similar item to this, take it if they cheap or if they free. Uh, don't pay too much because amount of gold is not too much, but the gold is gold. And uh, if you keep solution, if you dissolve that gold, keep solution, uh, add a couple of the solution together, you can drop some nice little bit of gold. Okay, so let's see. We got, I got here a four painting. So this one is the best shape. You see all that, all that gold round. So this one got much less here on that two bag see that this one contain here like I said not too much gold here that two line and uh, this one is similar like the first one but but is damaged too much so they contain the same amount of gold like the first picture you see that 
see when I turn around yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove all that brass parts I'm gonna crash that picture in the small pieces and uh, I will put that uh, ass in a beaker and uh, I will add I will dissolve gold with the bleach and uh, hydrochloric acid okay. okay so I crack all this part I'm not crack that part without uh, gold uh, gold trace on him all the part with the gold traces is uh, in the beaker see that couple of bigger pieces but mostly is a small one and here I got all that brass see that this is a pure brass it's a shame it's not a gold plating but it's a brass okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover that with the hydrochloric acid yeah you see that the acid is react with the sand because the sand is a mineral and probably this sand contains some uh, other metals or I don't know some other chemicals, some dirtiness start to rise so I'm gonna leave that for now okay Okay guys, so I start filtration, the color of solution is yellow, but probably it's not only from a gold, it's uh, from that sand, very slow filtration, and this is the residue, only glass, and uh, mostly of pain, most of the pain is gone, only the glass is stay with the on color sand you see that I covered that residue with a hydrochloric acid and I couple of time adds a little amount of bleach so the bleach dissolve all the metal and uh, right now we're gonna filter that and I'm gonna test that solution for the gold present okay okay guys so this is my uh, solution from that uh, painting and uh, I got here one drop, a couple of drop of that solution. Here is my stainless test. 
so right now let's see let's test that on the presence for gold let's see what happens yeah see that very very slight reaction we have here look at that so like I said it's getting a little darker but not too much good reaction so like I said this solution contain gold but amount of gold is very very low so uh, might try to recover some uh, gold with the drop with the SMB uh, will probably be a big failure. So I will not do that, okay? Uh, what you can do with that uh, solution? Uh, when you find some painting like this, you can remove a gold on that way. And uh, you see, got some other metal too, not only a gold inside. Uh, this is a bleach and hydrochloric acid. And uh, the gold is in solution, but amount is uh, very, very small. So I will not drop that solution. You can do a two different way. You can add the solution to your stock pot to cement uh, that gold with the copper with the solutions, or you can keep that solution and mix that together with some other solution who contain uh, much bigger amount of gold and drop everything okay in my case i will just keep that to some next time i will cover that keep that to some next time when i have some bigger some better pregnant solution and i will drop that together okay but you see that reaction it's not too bad actually but but it's not it's not the best Okay. okay guys, so I hope you like this video and uh, I will see you soon in some next video. In the next video I will process these. This is a copper plate and uh, it's a gold plated. So uh, just one piece of the copper plate and uh, they have some gold plating. Not the best gold plating, probably just some ening. Uh, because I test that can find yeah here see that when I drop nitric acid on that two place just go to the gold so uh, they leave just a little freckles of gold but not not foil so I will do that with the reverse electroplating in sulfuric acid and uh, this is just one plate about uh, 15 centimeter size and uh, I will uh, do that in the next video and probably because this stuff not contain too much gold either I will mix that to solution and drop gold together okay see you around guys to the next video of Indusion out cheers